is Chris. I'm going to show you Eggs Benedict, super fast, minimal pots to wash, lovely results. Let's start straight away. English muffins, never tried them. We like to use ciabatta rolls. We pre-cut them open, we butter them on the inside, we've pre-heated our oven, we're going straight into the oven, straight on the rack so we can get a nice crispy result. Now you know these don't take a long time at all. I've already pre-boiled the water in the kettle to speed things up. I've got it in the pan. It's boiling now as we speak. I'm going to turn the pan off. Two large tablespoons. We just use box standard clover margarine or butter. Uh, it's pre-salted so we don't need to salt this dish. Only two large tablespoons of that straight in the microwave. 30 seconds. While that's getting done, this is only one egg yolk. I've seen many a video with two egg yolks, unnecessary for the amount that we need today. So, straight into the pan. I've turned it off, it's still hot. Let's get our whisk. And there's our yolk ready to go. 10 seconds for the marge, or butter, whatever you want to call it. There, done. You don't want to overdo this. If you do, you end up turning this into like a fried up oil and it's horrible. It doesn't work. Now this is a split proof technique as well. There is a myth to say that if you pour this in too quickly, that's what makes it split. I find that it's heat that makes your hollandaise sauce split. The heat scrambles the egg, and that's what you get. Now, th because this is hot and the water's hot, that's ample temperature. One more go at this. There you go, all in, that quick. Can you zoom, come in a bit so we can see the consistency? Come right all the way in, and I want you to show inside this pan here. Okay, I've seen, not too close here, yeah, that's fine. Lemon juice, not too much. We don't want it too lemony. There you go, that's plenty. So we're getting acidity for the lemon from the lemon. A few drops of white vinegar as well. There's plenty of acidity there. Add a little bit of flavour. There's a few chives. Lovely. Some fresh ground black pepper. Jobs are good. Whisk that up. Now as you can see, the consistency here is seriously runny. You do not want that on your eggs benedict. But trust me, we know exactly what we're doing. That we set aside now. The reason being, everything is still hot. So, that's going to cook on its own. Nice, slow cooking. Right, we'll get to the eggs in a minute. Keep your work surface clean and tidy so you can move around with ease. Warming this pan up, tiny little bit of olive oil, not too much. There you go, a little drizzle. Now we've used Parma ham in the past, we find that to be uh, too rich. I mean this is such a rich dish as it is. We went through a variety of hams. And uh, we decided that a, a very simple, plain tasting ham was, was more than enough. So we opted for the box standard wafer thin ham. And there they are there. We're just going to raise a little bit of colour on these and then we're going to keep them warm. I should have preheated this pan while I was chatting. Anyway, that's all ready to go. One, two, Three, four. We're just putting a little bit of heat through those. We don't want to overdo it because they'll end up tough. So keep an eye on what we're doing here. We didn't take the time of how long this takes, but you'll agree it is a quick job. Now the hollandaise is there cooking on its own. We're going to go back and give it a stir in a bit. Give these a turn. 
We're just putting a little bit of heat through the ham. Because there's something else we're going to do in a minute. Okay, I'm quite happy with them. Let's move them to the side. Get the last two in. We're going to make three eggs Benedict. So that's two pieces of ham for each one. There's a little pan there that was in the oven with the bread. So we've got a little bit of colour on that side now. See the ham is very, very thin, but like I said, it's such a such a rich dish. I think maybe because the chives bring out more flavour in the hollandaise, but then you'll see later we've got other things to go on as well. Now that's browned off nicely. Don't worry, I, I, I have washed my hands. Right, that's them done. And what we're going to do is put it in the oven to keep warm, right at the bottom of the oven. I've only got conventional set here, so it doesn't overcook them. So they're all warm as well, I can smell that bread already. Now, poached eggs. You all know poached eggs are a nightmare, they take a long time, you've got to warm your water, you've got to put your vinegar, you've got to stir, you can't put too many eggs in because it doesn't work. I'm going to show you a super fast version. Now, it's basically, instead of poaching the eggs, we're going to steam the eggs. So there you go, I was ready, that pan's already warm. We're going to do three eggs. Six minutes, seven minutes. That sizzles straight away. One. Two. So far so good, I haven't broken any. Lovely job. So we're just gonna let those set, let the white set slightly before the next stage. And this, I love this technique. Do you want to close in and see what's happening? We just want those edges to set slightly. So it's going to be like semi-fried and steamed. But the flavour and the texture and, and, and the result overall is no different to uh, is, is no different to um, poached eggs. Now if this video is a bit shaky and all over the place, it's because I have an eight-year-old boy uh, videoing it, so please excuse it. Right, this is, these are firming up around the edges. Now, do you want to close in? Because all I want to do is move them slightly away from the edge of the pan. You can see they're still seriously raw. That one's in nicely. And that one there. And check it out. Quick, fast. We should be timing it. Water goes straight in. Look at that steam. Check it out. You're telling me that poached eggs are going to be this quick? I don't think so. Take the time, take the time. Look, almost done. Almost done. Let's go back and have a stir at this uh, hollandaise. As you can see, I better stop because those eggs are going to get done. This is how quick it is. Still tiny, tiny bit raw there. They're nearly there. Let's have a look at the hollandaise. Come and close in the hollandaise. Can you see it's thickened now on its own? Lovely, lovely texture. That hollandaise cooked all by itself, sat there on the side. These eggs, my friend, are done. Super fast. Oh. Let's get a plate. Now, usually I'm going to turn the heat off here. I'm just going to check if those beds are in. If they are, we can go ahead and serve up. This is how quick it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Let's get served up. Excuse me. Oh, great. Okay, one, 
two. Oh, that butter's melted lovely. Let's get a plate out, plate number three. Oh, lovely. Crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. I'm going to use my hands here, excuse me. There goes your ham. Okay, eggs. And because we poured water in the pan to steam the eggs, the pan is virtually clean. You can wipe it and reuse it or I'm going to wash it, but you could be these people that like wiping their pans. Okay, lovely. Hollandaise. Look at that consistency. Lovely. I'm going to measure these. One, two, one, two. Can you pull back a bit, please. One, now, uh, that was one egg yolk has made enough sauce to do three eggs benedict. Lovely. And we like to finish off. And this is what I mean, how it's such a rich, rich dish. We like to finish off with a bit of medium cheddar. That will melt on there on its own. And that will melt into the sauce. So we don't, we don't have a very lemony sauce, we have a very savoury flavoured sauce with a bit of zing from the lemon and the uh, vinegar. Now not too much cheese because it's too rich. And if you want to be flash and produce a bit of colour, a bit of paprika there. Is it just a tiny little bit of smokiness? We are done. Now, if that ain't the fastest eggs Benedict you've ever seen, let's go over to the table. Follow me. Keep focusing. Here, please. Let's have a look what we've done here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's on another level. Sit down, mister. Now, the true test is this one here. You're going to get all that in your mouth in one go? Good heavens. <laughs> is it? Is that one of our good ones? That's one of our good ones, yeah? Fantastic. Let's turn this around. Right, I'm going to eat while it's hot. Thanks for watching the video. Please do try this technique and comment. Uh, will be appreciated. See you later.